Okay, well, hello, uh, VR community and AR community and XR community. First of all, let me just apologize for the absolutely crappy way in which I have to record this, which is through the lens of the Oculus Quest with my cell phone. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, I'm just sitting here in my Oculus home, looking at my YouTube page and noticing, you know, my two of my top 10 recent videos are this Oculus Rift quest pass through and just some questions about the rift s pass through and i figure anytime i'm making money you're supposed to capitalize on what's successful so right now i have a stationary boundary set up and i just wanted to kind of talk about maybe some future possibilities with augmented reality in the quest so you notice as everyone knows you pass through your guardian system and you see the real world around you right but look at that transition. It's such a smooth gradient, the transition there, that if you're just stuck 50% in and 50% out, it could almost be useful for augmented reality purposes. Now, it's not a one-to-one -one mapping, which I think is the main problem. I actually saw something recently where it showed the Rift S does on-the-fly distortion and uh, remaps the pass-through cams, so it's a one-to-one -one situation, but if somebody were to hack the Guardian system, or, you know, if a developer can put in some kind of setting to where you can um, toggle the strength of the pass-through camera to where, you know, this would be 100%, this would be 0%, you can just pop somewhere down the middle to a 50%, 50-50, type of deal where you get augmented reality powers. That would be kind of an interesting thing to do. And it's possible as I'm demonstrating. Now again, I apologize, you know, you can't uh, record Quest gameplay with audio, with microphone audio, unless you're live streaming to Facebook, which the, the internet bandwidth is so poor here that I really can't live stream to Facebook very well. So that's why I chose to do it this way, just so I can have the audio commentary along with the quest footage and the pass-through camera. That's another thing. You can't record the pass-through on the quest. It just goes black when you're recording straight from the quest. So Again, forgive me for this hodgepodge setup, but yeah, I just wanted to show, you know, the quest might be useful for augmented reality in the future. Maybe they'll announce something like this. In, uh, at Oculus Connect 6, coming in September. So, yeah, it would be cool to, you know, see your room and at the same time see some VR. Kind of looks like HoloLens. I just saw a video about HoloLens, too, how they had uh, characters standing in the room. The guy was playing, I forgot what it was called, Shattered or Fractal, I don't know what it was called. But yeah. Not perfect Oculus Quest augmented reality, or mixed reality, if you want to call it that. So, I mean, uh, if anyone's got any answers to some of the issues that I talked about here, um, how to record Quest footage with the mic on, or how to record um, outside of the Guardian boundary within the quest, you know. Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out how to use live, but it's really kind of a little complicated. You have limited hours of the day. Anyway, yeah, thought I'd show that. Because, as we see, it's very humble, but, you know, I make a few dollars when we show these Oculus Quest videos with the pass-through cams, so. Bro, do you even rift? <laughs> All right, sorry about the crap quality. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll keep doing them, and uh, we'll see you in VR, yeah? Bye now.